all work and no play makes student life dull. That's why this student housing building in Sydney has amenities that aim to be top of the class. It's an environment for them to flourish and nurture while they complete their studies, whether they're international students or domestic students. We've got rooms like recording studios, we have the gaming room, we have cinema rooms, we have the beauty lab where people can get ready before a big night out. SCAPE is Australia's largest purpose-built student accommodation, or BPSA company, with 33 buildings in key cities across the country. Students say it's convenient and can be more value for money than renting in Sydney's competitive housing market. I actually was renting an apartment uh, not too far away in the city and it did get extremely expensive with everybody coming back from, you know, overseas. 24-7 security and like reception. As a woman, I feel safer in this kind of environment. Also, it was really difficult to find houses like, to the mar like from the market when you're overseas. There's been a boom in investments in the PBSA sector in the last decade, driven by a heady mix of a larger pool of university-aged students, a more mobile international student population, and a severe undersupply of accommodation options for them. For instance, here in Sydney, there are 31 students per a student accommodation bed. You know, in terms of the, the, the supply situation, there is a massive undersupply situation. There's been a domestic growth of the 18-year-old populations. That's driven investments in global student housing to a record 21 billion US dollars in 2021, with private investors and sovereign wealth funds pouring in money in places in Europe, the US and Australia. In Singapore, Property developer Far East Orchard entered the PBSA market in 2015. Its assets have grown more than fivefold since, and the company says student housing has become a key pillar of its investment strategy. The students are actually always wanting to pursue the higher education, uh, and that's why it is a very uh, positive sector. And lastly, not to forget, inflation hedged. Uh, it is a sector that um, you are able to uh, dynamically price your, uh, your, your rate uh, pertaining to the situation uh, and demand and supply. Uh, and they are short dated in the sense that it's uh, tied to the academic year for the year itself. Experts say investing in student housing is attractive because it guarantees a steady income stream that is recession and inflation proof. For instance, Capital Land Ascot Trust says its rents are 6% higher on year, surpassing the market rent growth in the United States. That's not to say there haven't been challenges. As borders closed in 2020 because of the coronavirus, universities around the world resorted to online learning, leaving beds in PBSAs empty. It was a devastating time for SCAPE, particularly because our borders locked and therefore there was no intake of students and we are built for the student environment. SCAPE made it through the pandemic by using its premises for healthcare staff and even refugees. It says it was able to do so with a mix of government funding and investor money. With borders now open again, experts say the sector has almost fully recovered from the impact of COVID-19 and is poised for further growth as the demand for an international education grows, particularly from students in China and India. Coupled with our very uh intentional and focused effort in uh, retaining the students in our PBSA. This academic year, we were able to achieve a 99% occupancy. It feels like a lifetime ago that we're in the pandemic. We are full. We cannot sell one more bed in Queensland, New South Wales. When choosing to invest in PBSAs, experts say it's all about location. Investors have to ask themselves how reputable the universities in the area are, as well as whether the PBSA itself is close to amenities and public transport. 
Singapore still doesn't have a dedicated PBSA REIT, so retail investors can enter the space through specialized student accommodation funds. Another way is to buy units to rent directly from developers. There are potential pitfalls to watch out for there. Problem with um, this kind of uh, investments is number one, you are buying only one unit, and you know you, in a way, your counterparty risk is down to the person who's actually guaranteeing you that yield. So you have to make sure that your due diligence is you know done really well to make sure that you don't suffer any losses in terms of you know risk of non-payment or non-performance. Going into 2023. The sector could face some headwinds from rising construction costs as well as supply chain issues. But industry watchers don't expect the threat of recession to loom too large over the PBSA sector. Student accommodations are counter-cyclical. I would see that you know, the demand for higher education could actually go up. And with that, you know, the potential for increase in demand for student accommodation. When economic conditions deteriorate or are uncertain, some people do tend to choose to invest in their skills rather than you know, get themselves and settle for an uncertain kind of job market.